Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading. We're gonna take a look and see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership for the month of April 2024 for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're gonna take a look and see what is happening. Um, if you guys enjoyed this reading, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. And if you want a personal love reading by me, do check me out. Go to my website or even Etsy and book a reading there. I do have an Easter holiday special um, that is going on right now if you're interested. Um, today, today we're actually going to start off, okay, um, a little different with the barely existing oracle deck okay i'm gonna get some messages for the challenge so let's jump right in sagittarius messages for my sagittarius two cards what does sagittarius need to know about their love life stabbed in the back so some of you guys um someone here may have stabbed you in the back okay i'm getting a three of swords energy or maybe a ten of swords um someone here may have done something really grimy right really messed up i almost feel like they blindsided you some of you guys are going through a lot of hurt and pain there could be a, a betrayal right so we're gonna find out more about that but i'm seeing swords okay and then there it is, overthinking and self-sabotage. So I almost feel like because of what you've gone through, Sagittarius, a lot of you, you know, there could be a feeling of like, you know, not trusting something or someone. And there's a lot of overthinking, right? Thinking that maybe, you know, uh, this person will do it again or another person, right? Maybe you're actively dating Sagittarius and you're not trusting a people in general, there could be a lot of overthinking that is leading to self-sabotage, okay? So we're going to find out more about this. And let's jump right in. Some of you guys, your person could be in this overthinking energy where they may want to take action towards you because of what they've done. And they just don't know how to approach you, okay? Because that overthinking stops people from actually acting and doing, right? So in a recent past, Sag, let's take a look. The strength in reverse, Leo energy, eight of cups and five of cups. So in the past, someone gave up. Someone felt like, I can't do this. This is too difficult. This is too much. This is too hard. I don't have the courage. I don't have the willpower, right? This isn't for me. <laughs> and they walked away. So Sagittarius, this person walked away from you. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I think in walking away from you, this is someone that may have like, may have, you may have felt like they just didn't care, right? Maybe they didn't say those words, but there's something here like, you just don't care about me, right? So I do feel like this is someone that gave up when things got tough. And I do feel like this was something that they regret. Maybe they never told you this, but the Five of Cups is like, I regret this. What I did was wrong. I wish I could do it over. You know, I can't believe, you know, what I did, right? This is someone that could be kicking themselves in the foot. Now, the current energy, there's something that could be coming in very, very quickly, moving forward. Eight of Wands is quick change. This could be this person communicating. Maybe you're receiving a piece of communication. Maybe this is you reaching out to someone. Regardless, there's movement and a lot of change. For some of you guys, this is like a change of residence, right? Change of a job. Page of Pentacles in the verse and the Six of Swords. So I almost feel like if something has been very stagnant for a very long time, where someone has been reluctant to resolve an issue that has been left ongoing, I feel like now is a time where something could be finally picking up. Because I do feel like the energy between you and this person, Sagittarius, is kind of like, you know, no one wants to make the first move, right? You both have been kind of like thinking about each other, but not making any moves. So what I'm seeing is that you and this person are finally getting out of their energy because someone is kind of ready to face a situation from the past, okay? And maybe even try to make amends and bring peace and harmony to a situation here, okay? Now, let me take a look at your person and whoever this is. Ace of Swords. So there's some kind of communication coming through. Someone like wants to talk about it. Let's have a conversation. I'm ready to be honest. I'm ready to tell you everything. I'm ready to own up. I'm ready to be truthful, right? And that's kind of what I'm seeing with this person. This could definitely be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or even Sagittarius here with the temperance, okay? 
So with the judgment in reverse in the wheel, I feel like this is someone here that recognizes that I've made some really awful bad decisions, bad judgment calls. I don't know what I was thinking, right? Those decisions I regret. And I feel like your person is feeling like a good fortune that could be coming in. Now I can change things, right? Someone may be wanting change with you. They see a possibility. They see an opportunity where maybe they can change their way, their pattern of behavior and have some kind of good fortune or future, future with you. So I feel like the energy is telling me that something is moving very quickly, right? Eight of Wands is coming in the current energy. So a lot of you guys where things are or have been for a very long time, it's not going to be like that anymore. And it really is because someone is ready to be honest and truthful to maybe step it up. Okay. And it feels like it's now or never. Temperance in the verse could suggest that someone is very anxious and worked up. Someone is kind of like tapping their pen on the table because they want to do something and it feels like I need to do this now and it's already late, right? So a lot of anxiety and I think that's probably like the overthinking from your person. Someone is really overthinking a matter regarding coming towards you, especially if they hurt you. So in the outcome, we have the death in reverse, a lot of change on the way. This could be an opportunity where there's a rebirth, a resurrection of something that was dead, that was done, right? And so the death in reverse could suggest that someone is open to transforming and doing things differently. The hangman in reverse, the six of cups in reverse, and it really comes down to someone saying, you know what, I've had a lot of time to really think about something. I now see things from a different perspective, a different point of view, and I feel like it's regarding someone that you disconnected from and they want to reconnect because this is someone here that has deep feelings and emotions for you this is someone that you go way back right six of cups here this is someone that may want to reconcile with you so i feel like there's an opportunity for something to come back and be resurrected with the death card if you're open to it sagittarius because at the end of the day the six of cups someone here is wanting to come back from the past okay a lover a romantic partner Someone here who feels like, you know what, what I did was wrong and I want to make things right. All right, let's take a look for my Sagittarius out there. What do they need to know for April, April 2024? All right, give me a card for stabbed in the back and overthinking and self-sabotage. What do we need to know here? King of Cups. So some of you guys, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio, or maybe someone that is has those characteristics very emotional very much in their feelings right now very sensitive someone here may be wanting to connect with you on the emotional level and that is the challenge right someone is, it could be also feeling like you know do you even care about me Sagittarius because whatever I did I know was bad I don't know if you have feelings for me anymore because of you know how awful I treated you so that's what I'm seeing here someone is overthinking it someone is overthinking and thinking about you okay but also feeling like do you even care about me? So the strength, the eight of cups, five of cups, someone walked away, gave up on you, and now regret it. King of wands in reverse. Yeah, you guys may have decided to like leave this person. You know, I'm getting like, you know what, you, you don't you don't care about me by your actions. And you may have decided to walk away. Maybe this is someone that walked away from you. Okay. But what I'm ultimately seeing, the Nine of Cups in verse, someone was very unhappy and I see a betrayal with the Ten of Swords. So again, some of you guys may have decided, you know what, I'm not happy, I'm not fulfilled, this person isn't meeting my needs. Ten of Swords, they hurt me, they betrayed me, they stabbed me in the back, I need to go, right? So King of Wands in verse, I feel like there's the energy of you giving up on the situation, okay? Maybe after trying, trying hard for a very long time, Sagittarius. Now, the current energy, big breakthrough energy, right? The four in a verse. Some of you guys, someone is asking, like, do you trust me, right? Can you trust me? Can you take a risk moving forward? Can we have this new beginning? Page of Swords in a verse, the Hermit. Yeah, so what I'm seeing is that someone wants a new beginning. Someone definitely feels like there's an opportunity for us to have a new beginning, but it's going to require a risk. I do see that this is someone that may also want to clear up some kind of misunderstanding maybe a gossip or rumor with the ace of swords and the page of swords in a verse this is someone that may be wanting to have the conversation or open dialogue because of some kind of rumor or something that was said that isn't the truth they feel like someone may have said that about them or you got the wrong idea or a picture that you know something happened and it didn't the hermit is telling me this is someone that's been thinking and, and spending a lot of time by themselves on their own and trying to figure out what's the best approach how do I handle a situation? And they could be getting some kind of spiritual guidance 
or even like uh, aware, becoming more aware of the situation so that they can better handle it, so that they can better um, deal with it, right? Resolve it. So that is definitely the energy here. I feel like your person is coming in with the truth and clarity that is allowing forward movement to take place. Give me the energy of the Ace of Swords and a Judgment. Someone is telling you that, you know what, I made the wrong decision. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the Seven of Cups in Verse. Someone was very confused about what they wanted. Maybe they had other options, other people they were interested in. And so there were a lot of illusions, right? They created in their head. There was a lot of confusion about who they should invest in. What I'm seeing here is that someone knows that they missed out because, well, they could have had it all with you. <laughs> and they know that because the judge in the verse, they know they made the wrong decision. And the Ten of Coins, some of you guys were married to this person or this is them saying, you know what, your marriage material, I could have married you, but I didn't, right? Four Cups is a missed opportunity. So someone is definitely in their feelings. They feel awful, sad, disappointed about the decisions they've made. Now with the Wheel and the Temperance in a verse, they're wanting to maybe go... Uh, go back to a situation and maybe have some kind of good fortune moving forward. The tower, the four of swords in reverse, and the four of coins in reverse. So I almost feel like there's something that your person is doing that is going to really cause a major shakeup in their own life. But it feels like it's because they want some kind of change with you. They want to come back. They want to resurrect this connection. And the tower could be literally the energy, something falling apart or um, literally being dismantled in their own life. Four pentacles in verse could be something they're letting go, something they're getting rid of that is no longer serving their highest and greatest good. And that could be causing a lot of anxiety on its own. Some of you guys, this could be like, you know, ending another relationship, ending something in their own personal life, doing some kind of, taking some kind of big action or big change, okay? Bringing some kind of big change to their life because they want some kind of change with you. Okay, so there's a lot of good energy coming in with the wheel, but I do feel like the tower, it, it's something they can, they have to sacrifice first, okay? This could be causing a lot of anxiety with the Four of Swords as well as the Temperance, so I don't think this is easy, but again, this is part of the, the sacrifice. Now with the Death in the Verse, something coming back, re being resurrected, Seven of Pentacles, there's something you're going to be thinking long and hard about with the Seven of Pentacles. You're really going to be thinking, like, how does this person fit in my life, in my future? You're going to be thinking about, you know, where things are going to go from here. The Hangman in verse is suggesting that a lot of you guys are having to see this person maybe from a different light or there's a different point of view you're going to be getting um, with regard to them, okay? The wheel in reverse, okay? So yeah, there's something to think about. But I almost feel like some of you guys, you may be a little bit reluctant to consider moving forward with this person. You may feel like they're just bad luck or there's no good fortune that could be coming in. There's no opportunity here where this could be saved. That is entirely up to you. But I definitely feel like the death in reverse is this person trying to reinvent and resurrect something here and re uh, reconcile even Six of Cups is here. So that is what I'm seeing. I think the biggest challenge is the King of Cups. Some of you guys, you may be having a difficult time connecting with this person on an emotional level or believing them that they actually do care and love you, okay? That there's just truly an emotional connection that they're willing to save and, you know, um, save and show up for. So that is what I'm seeing. Big King of Cups energy, very emotional, very sensitive, and very aware of how they feel now. That is what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll check you guys out soon. Take care.